I'm John Beaver. I'm a sports photographer who has been to 55 Super Bowls, 56 this year. My dad was a longtime team photographer of the Packers. He had been there since uh, Curly Lambeau was coach, in fact. He was in 1945, started as team photographer. Right after the war, he was going to college in Green Bay and decided to go over on a lark over to talk to the Packers, see if they had a team photographer, and they didn't. So that's how he, he got into it. At age 14 or so, he noticed that I was taking an interest in photography, picked up some cameras, and started shooting on the field with him in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I guess he saw that I had some talent for it because he uh, kept encouraging me and giving me more equipment to use and taking me along. He was always terrified that I was going to walk in front of Vince Lombardi on the sidelines. <laughs> that was always a big thing for him. So I, I was telling people, yeah, I grew up uh, as a teenager uh, staying out of Vince Lombardi's way. So. <laughs> Growing up, it was like Packer players would stop by our house just to look at pictures uh, in the basement after my dad had processed them. Occasionally, I'd tell friends about this and they'd line up in the driveway and, <laughs> Bart Starr's coming in. So that was pretty cool. First game I remember distinctly is the 1965 uh, NFL Championship, the Packers and the, and the Browns. It was actually Jim Brown's last game. Packers won it. And I got a few pictures from that. One ran in Look Magazine as a double truck. And I think that's what kind of let him know that I had some talent, so. The first Super Bowl touchdown I got, and it was a wide shot, because I was at that point using a 135 millimeter lens, which was pretty short. First Super Bowl was Kansas City Green Bay at uh, the Coliseum in LA. Amazingly, there were, I think, 35,000 empty seats, and the sidelines was not busy at all. I mean, it was like Bob Hope was next to me for a while. It's like, wow, what's going on here? It was beautiful. It was uh, in LA, bright sun. Uh, you know, Super Bowls back then used to be in one o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, that was a real plus, having that kind of weather. I think now they're looking for dome stadiums and um, it, it helps everybody. We're all encouraged by that. But you know, the pictures have suffered too because you don't have shadows, you don't have sun shadows, you don't have backlit conditions, you don't have grass flying, you don't have dirt flying, so that needs to always add to the pictures. So there's a, it's a bit more antiseptic now, so that part has, has gone down, but I mean it's, uh, in total I think we're, we're all for this, this is the way to go. I've covered all three Super Bowls in San Diego, I had to cover them two of the three. This is one of my favorite pictures, Super Bowl 22 here in, uh, here in San Diego, one of the first ones I was doing for Sports Illustrated, it shows Doug Williams being injured. Uh, and it has a lot of expression, action, dirt flying, uh, the exposure was, was good. This is back when we still had to pay attention to have the correct exposure within a quarter of a stop. There's still some daylight left, but it's, it's not you know, like one o'clock sunlight. It's like muted, so it's uh, shot with a 400 millimeter lens. This is uh, from the last Super Bowl here in San Diego. This is Joe Jerovicious of Tampa Bay, a uh, close up of him. And this is my photo. This was our first digital cover. We were shooting film up to this point. This is kind of a shot in the dark, so to speak, uh, shooting with the digital cards. They weren't really sure this was gonna work. They were to always convinced that film was always the best, and they found out otherwise, of course. But I like this photo because it has wide eyes and an expression, and um, that's always key to a photo, uh, being able to see inside the helmet. This is uh, one of my, also one of my favorites, Super Bowl 45, my Green Bay Packers winning the Super Bowl. It, it, it all kind of ties together, and I like just like the atmosphere of it. I think this player, who is not totally famous, he wasn't a star player, but I think he was smart enough to know that he should react. It worked out for all of us. Mm -hmm.